G'day everyone, in this video today I'm going to show you how to create image sequences in your vMix GT title. So what I'm going to do is show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go to this title here. Now you might be thinking, wow, this looks like a great title. So we use this for our November 2018 um, vMix Funtime Live Show and what I'm going to do is show you what that looks like. So basically we have a bunch of stuff going on here. We have the a lot of different elements that are animated and doing various different things. We added way too many things to this just to show you what it could do, like the triangles flying out from the edge and, and different rectangles moving and all that kind of stuff. But you'll notice that we have Martin here. So Martin, on the transition in, we've got the title, and then Martin appears, and then Martin walks out. What we've added here is an image sequence. So we've made an image sequence from a video file in front of a green screen, and then we've removed the green and then we've created the image sequence of Martin here. So now I'll show you kind of how to set all of this up. All right, so what I'm actually going to do is remove Martin. So let's remove the layer that Martin's on. Say, see you later, Martin. Thanks for coming. So how do we go about creating what Martin looked like there? So it was a cutout of him um, walking towards the camera, and we put it in the, um, the title there. So basically, what you want to do typically is create a... Um, Film somebody in front of a green screen, then remove the green from the, um, the video, and then convert that to an image sequence. So as you can see here in this video that I'm showing, we've got Martin, we've filmed him in front of a green screen. Then I went in and I cropped it all out and I got rid of the green, and then I converted that in vMix. Okay, so in vMix, we have a small program called the vMix Video Tools, and that allows us to create an image sequence. So if you go to the hamburger menu, you can load up the vMix video tools and then select create image sequence. So if you want to create an image sequence, you select that task up the top. And what it's going to do is it's going to create an image sequence from the source file that you want. So the video file that you've created from the green screen, you've removed the green, you've created a video file with an alpha channel, then you can come in here and you can create the image sequence to play in vMix. So we've selected that. Now we, what we want to do is choose the video file. So this is the video file. It's crossover-martin.mov. Um, so we'll click open. And then we need to choose where this goes and what we're going to call it. We'll just call this um, Martin um, and click save down at the bottom. So now we've selected the folder. So it's gone in this folder here, um, the GT video folder, Martin crossover. It's always good to kind of put these uh, image sequences in their own folder um, away from everything else. You don't want to do it to your desktop or something because it is going to create uh, every single frame possible for the video file. So if your video file has 100 frames, you're going to create 100 PNGs. So keep that in mind that you put in a folder where you're going to be able to easily access them. So now that we've got that, we've got our source file, we've got our output file, we're going to click Convert. So that is going to convert them and we should be right to go. So let's head back to the GT title designer now. All right, so if we want to add a, an image sequence, we can go to image here, and what we can do now, this is the folder it was in, and as you can see, it's now been converted to an image sequence. So we've got 106 frames of Martin doing stuff. So what we need to do for an image sequence is select the first one. So we'll click the first one and click open. So as you can see here, we've got Martin, um, he's ready to go. He's, you know, as you can see by his face, he's super excited about being here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line that up with my title here, and um, nothing's going to happen. So um, because it's just a static image at the moment, we've only selected the first one. Nothing's going to happen on it. So in order to animate Martin, what we need to do is create an image sequence for him. Now there's a couple of things to consider. So with the image sequence. Martin is always going to be there. So as you can see here, Martin is constantly there. So instead of just doing the image sequence to play through those images, first of all, we need to create a transition to fade him in. So we're going to set a delay to fade in. Um, we're just going to do a very short fade in. So that way it's going to wait one second and then fade him in as we're doing the uh, image sequence. So on the second level, we're going to select image sequence here, and then I'm going to go ahead and select the delay, make that one, and here we can choose the duration. Now, 
it would probably be a good idea to check your video file to see how long it goes for and then enter the duration here by seconds. So I'm, I'm not sure what this was. I probably should have checked that. But I'm just going to take a guess and say that it was two and a half seconds. So now when we play this in, what it's going to do on the first level, it's going to wait um, one second and then it's going to do a very quick fade as this image sequence is happening here. So wait for it. There he is. And then he walks up. Okay, so that's how you add an image sequence into vMix if you want to add it for video transitions. Um, what you'll need to do, again, make sure that you convert that MOV file into PNGs using the vMix video tools, and then you can bring that image and then select it as an image sequence on the transitions. Okay, so maybe we have a image sequence that we want to be continuous. Um, this is probably not the best example because Martin's moving a lot, um, but if you had a like kind of a more of a static image sequence, what you could do is for the image, go transition in, you could do the same sort of uh, fade in to bring that into the production, and then go down to the section down here called continuous, and then select the image sequence one here. So basically that's just going to loop. So again, it's probably not best, this is probably not the best example um, because he's going to be moving in. But if you've got something that's fairly static, spinning around or doing various things, you could use this one. So if we go back up here, um, here, and then we transition this in, Martin's going to be transitioned in. So it's going to be constantly uh, moving, so as you can see here. So I can show you quickly in vMix what that looks like. Um, let's save this as... Um, Let's go into vMix and go into title, recent, Martin title. So because we've left it on con continuous, it's just going to keep doing that. He's just going to keep walking in, folding his arms like he's very happy to be here. Okay, so that's how you can set up image sequences using the GT title designer, either to use them on a transition in, transition out, or use them for a continuous method as well. So thanks for watching, and if you do have any questions, feel free to send us an email via the support page on vmix.com. It's really hard to answer YouTube comments uh, with technical answers, so please send us an email. So thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vmix video, or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.